What's up, everybody? This is Brad dropping in real quick to talk a little bit about some of the reveals and the new skins that we got for Fortnite. Uh, the first one, which, um, well, I'll talk about that one a little bit. Anyway, uh, first, Fortnite accidentally leaked uh, January's crew member skin, and it is the Winter Sloan skin that we saw in one of those skin surveys. And you know what? She looks pretty good. Um... It's actually, like, it's kind of uh, crazy when you think about the fact that Sloan was only introduced as a character. You know, we we actually got to see her in season seven. So only two seasons ago did we see the first of Doctor Sloan. Yeah, she was she uh had voice lines at the beginning of season five, but as far as like being a playable skin in the game, she was only around two seasons ago, and now she's already you know. She's already coming back again as another char- as a new character. Not a new character. She's getting a new skin there. And it's a crew skin. Which, I don't know. To me, it feels kind of special because it's a, sc- a crew skin. But at the same time, I guess, uh, I don't know. So far, not really. So far, in terms of the way the stories have played out, none of the crew skins have really mattered much. I thought they were going to change that with the, uh, the first Shadows. But, I don't know. There's some there's some stuff happening there. I'm gonna go into uh, in a different video, but uh, anyway, so yeah, Winter Sloan. She's got another variant. Um, I can't remember if the I O logo is on her jacket or not. You can't tell in this shot here. But anyway, cool skin. Uh, again, it's so strange that it seems like Epic is leaking the stuff a lot lately. But uh, moving on, the characters on the left you see there. Uh, with Spider-Man No Way Home being a big deal right now, the big Spider-Man movie, uh, you knew they were going to do some crossovers. And the first big Spider-Man thing that's, that's going out is this one. Uh, the Tom Holland Spider-Man and uh, Zendaya, or her... Uh, her Mary Jane MJ skin, who is supposed to be a uh, if I'm I'm pretty sure she's supposed to be an NPC in the game that you could buy uh the web slinger uh things uh for I think you could buy them from her but I think you can also find them in like the backpacks scattered around the map, which I will say this, the Spider Man mythics in the, in the game are very fun to use. They're a little bit hard to control if you don't get up high enough and you you scrape under the gr- uh across the ground. But uh, but yeah, I, the Spider Man stuff in the game is really good. Uh, personally, looking at this though, I don't follow the MCU. I'm sorry, I just don't. I I just don't care for it, and. In my opinion, I don't particularly uh, particularly care for this set here um, that much, except for the masked version of this Spider-Man skin. Like, I don't really care to want to play as unmasked Tom Holland. I just don't. But like, and and this is the thing that I wish they had done. Like, uh, let me. I don't think you can see it. Maybe you can. Let me change this real quick. Uh, this is the full set. The full set for this, uh, thing is... Um, it's very basic. It's not a very expensive set, but you get... This is spidery back bling here on the left. It's just the Spider-Man logo on his uh, uniform. It's not that cool, to be honest. Um, the spider bat. I don't know whose that is. I don't know if that's uh, for MJ or if he uses the bat. I don't think he does. But again, I don't. I don't haven't seen hardly any of the um, MCU films. I just don't care for him. Uh, this backpack here. That one would be the one I would assume would be MJ's. But. Uh, and then his emote is built in, and it's him taking on and pulling off his spider mask. And it's just so underwhelming compared to the Battle Pass skin Spider-Man's built-in emote, where he shoots a web string up and then hangs upside down and waves and salutes. Like, that's such a better emote. And I really wish they would have just, like, found a way to, to uh, give that emote 
to all of the Spider-Man skins. But I guess they want them to all have to stand out in their own unique way. And I guess a built-in emote does that. But I just this is not the coolest set in the world, in my opinion. I did buy just the uh, the Spider-Man thing. I, I bought I bought Tom Holland <laughs> and set his mask to automatically on. Thank goodness they've learned that with these transformation skins that people prefer to have the ability to start as one uh, form or the other without having to because like a lot of the stuff uh, Iron Man's was a big uh, thing people were not happy about where you could not pick to just start the battle as Iron Man. You had to pick Tony Stark and then hit the suit up emote in the lobby before you could become Iron Man. So, luckily, they fixed that here. I have no idea what the black spider suit here is, the black and the gold. I have no idea what that's a reference to or how what relevance it is to the plot of this particular Spider-Man. But, eh, I don't know. I do think, though, if I, if I know the little bit about the MCU that I do, this Spider-Man, Tom Holland, is the one that in one of the films, was using Captain America's shield. So, I can at least do something with that in Fortnite because I have the Captain America skin, so, you know. I can try to make him stand out on his own, uh, in my own way, with stuff I already have, so I don't have to have a Spider-Man baseball bat. But yeah, like I said, it they're not terrible skins. I think they, I think the stuff looks cool by itself, but like, I think the Battle Pass Spider-Man is just it just looks better. And it's got the better stuff. It's got the better set overall. It's certainly got the better built-in emote. And like and the main reason I bought this is because at some point I plan on doing like a Spider-Verse video where I use all the Spider-Man characters because I'm sure more are coming. Like I don't know if they're going to do one for every major Spider-Man. Like are they going to do uh Oh, was it they're gonna do the original Spider-Man series? What was that guy's name? God, I can't remember. I mean, I'm I'm sitting here figuring that they were I was figuring they were gonna do like Spider Gwen and maybe tie some of that into like the, the Spider Verse uh uh characters. Bring in Spider Gwen, bring in Miles Morales, like like I feel like Miles has gotta happen. Um I figure there's a good chance of Spider Gwen happening too. But who knows, like, and I think there's supposed to be some villains coming, but like I said, it's it's hard to predict what exactly is going to happen. But anyway, like, if you want to pick up the set, if you're a big fan of the MCU, I can see definitely why you would want to have this. But, uh, I don't know, just, it's not the, it's not the best, uh, set in my opinion. Like, isn't this, doesn't this Spider-Man, isn't this the Spider-Man that, uh, uh, is like the protege of Tony Stark or something, or am I am I, am I mixing my my Spider Verse characters? <laughs> am I mi- am I mixing the wrong Spider Man up? Like, why didn't he have like a back bling that? Uh, Cause like I think he's supposed to, one of the Spider Man characters I know because I've seen clips from Endgame has like the additional legs thing that comes out of him that I think was built by Stark. I I, I don't know. But anyway, that would have been a cool back bling to have instead of just this logo thing. But maybe this isn't even that Spider-Man. But whatever. Anyway, hope you enjoyed listening to me talk. What do you guys think? Do you like these skins? Do you like this set? Do you think this Spider-Man skin is better than the Battle Pass Spider-Man skin? Uh, it's a it's a black and red suit. I do, like I said, I like the black and the red. But, you know, everybody's different. What do you guys think? Like and subscribe, all that stuff. And we'll keep our eye out for more Spider-Men showing up in the game. But until then, we'll see you later.